Step three, change settings as necessary. Evolver uses complex numerical algorithms to perform the optimization, and you can tweak the way these work by changing various settings. To examine or change settings, click the Settings button on the Evolver ribbon to bring up the following dialog box. It has four tabs and you can look through them. Until you become more of an expert in Evolver, you should probably accept all of the default settings except possibly for the one shown, which indicates when Evolver should stop. The settings shown here are suggested. With these options, Evolver will stop when it has made very little progress in maximizing profit over the last 20,000 trials. However, you should be aware of a trade-off here. The reason for such a large number of trials is that it gives Evolver a chance to find new solutions that are better than the best solution found so far. Otherwise, it might quit too early. On the other hand, if Evolver has already found the best solution, it will be essentially spinning its wheels for the next 20,000 trials. Therefore, for simple models such as this one, you might want to reduce this to a smaller number, such as 5,000 or even 1,000, as I will do here. Now it's your turn. Examine the Evolver settings. You can experiment with the number of trials required before stopping. 